Welcome back. Let's play some Byoyomi Survival on playshogi.com. This should be good fun, right? Alright, so the notion behind Byoyomi Survival Mode is you have 30 seconds to make every move. And puzzles gradually increase in difficulty. I don't see the solution. Oh, I see it. So... Yeah, you can spend 30 seconds on every move. Seven, six, five. All right, and then you have 30 seconds for the next move. Hmm. And then you bring the rook over, and that's checkmate. And if you play that really quickly, then you get the next problem. And you just keep going and going and going until you mess one up, and then it's over. So that's how you play Byoyomi Survival. Uh, silver 2 3 is mate in 1, right? Oh, we failed one. Just kidding, you get to fail three of them. Although I'm not sure that I actually failed that. But, um, yeah, so this is checkmate. Uh, let's see, where does that put us now? Where's the mate? I just don't see one here. That's not good. Oh, I have a bishop. Alright, I failed that problem. One more failure, and it's over. It's somehow less intense without uh, the timer noises. Maybe I need to figure out how to add timer noises to make this more dramatic. Um, so we promote here, and then this is checkmate. All right, we got two. I don't think two is going to put me on the leaderboard. Wait, how is this? Oh, no. Interesting. Check, checkmate. Yeah, this looks correct to me. Incorrect. And then you can click on failed problems and see what the solutions are. Uh, let's just click on this last one and see it's this check and then that mate. Uh, I don't know why this one failed. Um, yeah, this mode could... There's some things that could be touched up on the site, but it does work pretty well. And so you can also see there's a leaderboard. Uh, if you go back to the main site, uh, you can see that there's Sumashogi problems in Byoyogi survival modes. You can also... I thought I was looking at a puzzles portal just a second ago. I'm not sure. No, that's not it. Oh, if you pick Byoyomi Survival from the top menu, that takes you here. And I think this menu, uh, this listing on the right, shows high scores, but seemingly without regard to mode. Oh, this is not for the high score mode. This is just for to try to survive Byoyomi. If you try to get a high score and get on the leaderboard, this is the mode you go select. And then this is just solve as many problems as you can in three minutes. But again, fail three and you're out. So, uh, this is checkmate, right? No, horse takes. Okay, if I push this pawn, the king has to run this way. And then I could push again, the king can run toward... No, they can't. So, just twice push this pawn. And that's checkmate. That was weird. Oh, right, so the difficulty climbs every three... Every five correct solutions, the difficulty increases. Huh. Um... If 
I push here, first of all, I'm trying to lure the king into this square so that I can checkmate it. But second, if the lance takes, is there a mate? No, this is double check. They have to take it. Uh, that's incorrect. All right. Uh, it'd be kind of nice to know. Yeah, there's not a cooldown afterward. It'd be nice if there were. <sighs> this puzzle's kind of evil. Um... Why not this check, and then this check? Well, if I check here, Lance takes, and gold up mates. So this check, king back, this check, king forward. There's not a mate there. If I check diagonally here, rook takes. That removes the attack on the Lance. Um, strange. <laughs> I'm confused. So if I move this bishop somewhere, if they take this, I can check with this bishop. Oh, if I move this bishop, you know, that is check because of this. They could block with an arbitrary piece, and I can't mate in one. Um, hmm. Strange. This is bizarre. I can block this lance as if somehow that's an advantage. Yeah, I just couldn't figure that one out. Um, timer's ticking, you know. All right, I'm almost certain like this is yeah, when I have very few pieces, this becomes a lot easier. Because there are not many possibilities. Either something checkmates or it doesn't, and there's no in-between. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Strange. Okay, this is also incorrect. So to review failed puzzles, I have to go back to them. And then to zoom in properly, I have to like hit control plus four times. And then we could look at this casually or just have this play it out for me. So instead of promoting there, I promote here instead. Why does this make a difference? Um, so if the king goes down, yeah, this makes a difference because the dragon can move to the right and checkmate. So that's the difference here. That's tricky. How about this one? So here... Bishop, bishop, mates. What was wrong with my move? Why? Oh! So, I played this. 
which fails. Oh, because this lance drops. Um, then there's no checkmate. Oh. Hang on. Are we sure? If the lance drops here. I know this is suggesting a lance drop, but then what happens if my lance takes their... Oh, then it blocks my bishop. That's a focal point. Okay. And then here's the similar idea with something dropping on the focal point, and I have to like choose which way to take it. Probably. If the idea is mate in three, well, futile interpositions don't count against the mate, but no, they just run back twice and escape. Yeah, so that was fairly straightforward. So, in, yeah, to prevent them from twice running back, uh, I could instead move the bishop out here, but then the dragon takes my lance, and I don't have mate in one. So, what else could be done? Since this bishop move doesn't solve this either. Um, I could move the bishop to 2-6 instead. And then king 2-4. And then there's nothing. I guess we could click on this and see what was the solution here. Just for the purpose of keeping things going. So this check, and then this move. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So clearly I missed on that. Uh, should we try once more? Yoyomi survival uh, high score mode. Let's try it. How bad could it be? So if I move the rook back here, they, if they interpose, bishop takes is not checkmate. Um, best would be to like drop the rook back to try to mate somehow. Rook 3-3 three, three promote, king 1-5. Um, well, this isn't mate in 3. No matter how... Oh, this is my pawn. That hurts. Okay. Still, having this be my pawn here makes a difference. Why? I don't know. So if I bring the rook up, I can promote it. If they take the pawn, this is check. They can block. That doesn't get me anywhere. Um, if I drop the rook down, they take this rook there as mate. If I drop the rook down and they interpose, that's considered a futile interposition, and this is allowed by convention. So yeah, that's mate in three by convention. Uh, that's strange. Wait, are there two solutions here? Gold 2-1 and gold 4-1? How could there not be two solutions to this? Gold 2-1, uh, dragon takes, gold 4-2. This is symmetric. They're... Yeah. I'm curious if the other way fails, or if both solutions are accepted. Hopefully both are accepted. So... Mm, there's no way to move this back to block the rook, so I could easily 
drop the knight there with the mate. So what does this mean? Also, many mates by convention don't allow you to keep extra pieces in hand at the end because that's not considered beautiful. So beautiful mate is not going to involve a capture on the first move. If this is a mate in three, then allegedly it is. Okay, knight drop, king takes lance. This check um, does not mate. Oh, what a mess. Finding an ideal mate is so rough. And one of the two moves is going to involve dropping the knight. So either drop it now, the rook takes, and there can't be a mate there. Or do something first to prepare this, and then drop the knight. Um, so the knight drop on the second move would be on probably either 1-5 or 3-5. Hmm. Wait. Oh yeah, they have the square covered twice. It's so befuddling. How can there be a mate here? Let alone an ideal mate. If I check, yeah, there's not time to checkmate. I don't understand at all. I still don't understand why that's forced. So what I struggled with here was not the game, the puzzle variation. But it was after I play this, why did they take the rook? I guess I'm thinking too... Like, why not horse takes? I guess horse takes puts up no resistance, but it does prevent this ideal mate. Because the only way you could mate is by keeping a piece in hand. Yeah, so that's what confused me. Um, once more? Yeah, let's try one more. So, yeah, here we go. High score mode. Five minutes on the timer, mate in three. Um... One point. If I check there, silver takes their stone. There is a mate. There's the mate. Two points. It took me a second to understand the value of that pawn in the corner. Three points. Uh, I have no pawns here. It's just my horse and silver. Wow! I've never seen this one before. Four points. Nothing in hand. Uh, if I block this rook, if I block the bishop, they interpose a piece. If I take on one four, that's not me. Okay, if the silver drops back, Oh, that's cool. The key here is to actually promote this so that interposition becomes futile. Right now we're in the mate in five category. Um, 
since we solved five problems, future problems will be mate in five rather than mate in three. Um, so hopefully we don't immediately encounter evil problems. Okay, another mate in five here. If I take there, one of these pieces takes. Um, hmm. I don't know. If I take, I have to drop my remaining pieces as the last two moves. But thankfully, they're exactly the pieces I need to checkmate, so... Nope. I'm mistaken somehow, although I'm convinced I'm right. Um, okay, we have three golds and mate in five, so we have to drop a gold every turn. Oh. That's interesting. Um... There's some geometry going on here. There's some really confusing geometry going on. So I'm thinking gold drop 5-3. And I'm thinking gold 4-2 and gold 4-4. Four, four. But what's preventing the lance from taking on 4-2? That I don't see. Gold 5-3, gold 4-2, gold 4-4. Four, four, something like that, but... Wait, I want to lure the king out to 3-4. Um, or do I first drop on 3-4? No. 3-4 pawn takes, 4-4. Four, four. No. This is challenging. Even when I know like every move has to be a gold drop, it doesn't narrow it down enough. Okay. Oh, I failed that. I was just making random guesses because time is running out. Okay, likewise. All right, failed problem number one. My answer was uh, taking here. If they do knight takes, there is no checkmate. And then I drop a silver. What do you mean there's no checkmate? What do you mean? Is this a horse? No, it can't be. That's a dragon. Knight takes silver drop. Oh, wait, no? I'm confused. Horse takes, knight takes. There's no mate. Let me know if I've messed up, but to me this looks right. Well, anyway, what is the solution according to this program? This check, this check, this mate. So, yeah, this... Um, is where you could apply the lance, and then the silver's pinned. It makes sense. I still don't see what's problematic about my solution, but let me know if I've messed up. Perhaps something's set up differently somehow. OK. 
Okay, and then my solution here was gold drop there. Which is incorrect because this page isn't telling me why. Oops. Oh, on the refresh, it remembers how big the page is. All right, so what's the move? This is apparently the solution, and then this check, and then this. Oh, the knight's pinned. So the three four idea was the right idea after all. Um, but tell me why doesn't actually tell me why. Um, so it falls to me to figure this out, I suppose. I mean, it looked to me like horse, or the dragon just takes this, but that seems to transpose. No, it doesn't transpose because, yeah. So this is the idea, and then this and this. So I'm not able to uh, lure the king all the way into this. Wait, no. Hmm. Yeah, dragon takes, and there's just too many roads out of this. So that was clearly wrong on my part. And then this last one I just made a random guess. Um, uh, so here we know it's not this silver drop. It's probably something fun. He says, like this. Nope. When it sticks. Something fun like this, perhaps? Knight takes. Alright, so it's... Oh, the corner drop. Don't see that every day. And lure the king back out and made it right there. So... This is the stuff Bioyomi Survival is made of. If you want to get on this high score leaderboard, uh, let's see, the lowest score that will get you there. Um, we see here's all the high scores. The lowest score to get you on the leaderboard would be 15 points. So good luck to anybody attempting this. It's still out there if anybody wants it.